Please come take a seat, grab a mic. My part's done, so I can just chill. You can just chill? Yeah. You're relaxed, there you go, that's for you. So this is, you're no stranger to the Junos. No. So how has it changed over time for you? Wow. Like, do you still get nervous? Do you still? Yeah, I don't get nervous about much anymore, Angel. I'm done with that. Okay. Done, done with nerves? Nerves are done. It's a waste of my time. Oh. Waste, of my, waste of my heartbeat. I sort of made a decision. I used to get nervous flying when turbulence came in. Mm -hmm. And then one day I was like, this is insanity. Yeah. And I made a decision that I would never give another heartbeat to nerves. Yeah. And so I don't do that anymore. You know how much a plane wing can actually bend? Yeah. Like 180 way, degrees. I think it actually but, bends but that's the full 360. For all this other stuff, too. Yeah. Oh. You're so grounded. Yeah. That's, good. that's beautiful. That's really and it was good. really cool because then anything else in my life where I'm like freaked out or I can't I can't manage it, I say, well, wait a second. I managed that other thing. I haven't given a heartbeat in, in 13, year, four, 13 years mm -hmm. to the plane or whatever else. Then I, I sort of have figured out how to come in, Sam. Come in, Sam. So Sam's your date, right? Sam is my date. She's yeah. a little late. Oh, obviously. yeah, rude. Come sit, Sammy. Come here. Yeah, grab a, a, grab, a, grab a seat. Grab a seat, grab a microphone. Uh, what are you doing here? Okay, well, what well, I'm doing is I'm talking hi, about hi, how's you. Going? Good to see you again. I'm talking hi. about how, nice to meet you. how we get an opportunity to walk the red carpet and we get to go out and celebrate music and Absolutely. we're all joyful and happy, but how, um, God, you guys spelled my name E-L, it's A-L. I knew that. Yeah. So anyway, we're talking about um, the way God made you, Chantal. <laughs> Chantal. No. I mean, for me, I'm, I'm really excited Chantal. to be able to celebrate Sam Nutt, who's the founder of War Child, mm -hmm. um, and and how much meaning her NGO, um, her philosophy, her life's work has brought uh, to my life and as a musician. Mm -hmm. Well, one of the things that we've actually been talking about with a lot of people who've come back here early on, we had Tribe and then Tanya Takak, speaking to Buffy St. Marie on, on the red carpet, is that it feels like this is a really exciting moment for Canadian music being able to sort of say something and do something. And obviously War Child has always been uh, intrinsically tied to That's Canadian right. music. Yeah, yeah. Do you feel like mm -hmm. this is a particularly kind of bright moment for charitable causes and people's awareness of the kind of work that you're doing? Um, I mean, I don't know if it's a bright moment for the world, but sure, I do I, think yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. That's not I, I mean, I think that it's an important moment for artists to speak up and speak out. And yeah. so, especially when you think about the, we're facing the worst refugee crisis since World War II. We have 20 million people at risk of famine right now in the mm -hmm. world. And so artists have this extraordinary platform and their capacity to actually make something out of that and to turn it into mm -hmm. a statement that gets people involved. And we also have Donald Trump in the White House, and so I think that the world is at a very critical moment in time, and so mm -hmm. artists channel that and champion that, and I think that it's, um, I mean, events like tonight are fantastic, I think, in that, in that context. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think, you know, we can look at artists and what's going on in culture, uh, in pop culture, and, and quite frankly, um, when someone is completely um, unconscious mm -hmm. in their, their presentation, um, that looks one way, and when someone has some consciousness in what they do weaved into what they present, it looks another way. And for me, I'm always kind of like, okay, well, that's that thing. When someone doesn't really, it's, it's all about them and it's mm -hmm. a lot of self, self you know, glorification and promotion. And that's fine, but I'm really drawn to people, you know, people have inspired me like Peter Gabriel or The Hip or, mm -hmm. you know, Tribe Called Red. Like, I, I just, I'm just blown away by people who, who manage to, to bring in their consciousness into mm. what they do, because we are privileged. We're born lucky when we're born in Canada, mm -hmm. and there's so much that we can do uh, for, for wonderful causes like War Child. When you were creating War Child, it, oh, I have my own microphone. Oh, you do? That's oh, just that's yours. very convenient. Okay. Yeah, you get to use your, I can hold it for you. Yeah, no. <laughs> this, is, um, this is a serious production, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But when you, when you uh, were putting War Child together and you were creating it, did you know that y you wanted to work with musicians immediately? Well, we knew that, I mean, what we what we do in terms of our frontline activism around yeah. ending war is, yeah. at, and if you look at the history of, of music and activism around peace, whether you're talking about Woodstock or even going you know back centuries, I mean, there's always been a strong relationship between music and peace and activism and so for us it was a very natural natural thing the and then mm -hmm. the arts. yeah mm -hmm. absolutely as a way of manifesting and expressing what people are thinking right. and feeling mm -hmm. and um, I mean one of the things that I've experienced working in war zones all around the world is that artists continue even in the face of extreme adversity and persecution to speak up and to represent and to channel their their statement into their artistry and I think that 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 I mean 
Canadian artists are no exception in that regard, right? Mm -hmm. So it's exciting to see that. And I think I think what's so cool is that you know, I mean, when I did a songwriter circle today with uh, Bruce Coburn and and uh, you know the likes of a Daniel Caesar, um, you know, we were talking about like being yourself and and realizing that the the greatest way to be a great artist is just just to just say what's going on, right? Yeah. And for me, you know, I feel a call to action. And, and so I want to put that into my life's work. It doesn't have to necessarily be like, you know, blatant in how I speak in, in every song. It's, it's in my songs, songs right. like Blue, song, songs like Vicious. I, I put it in there, but, but um, you know, uh, I feel like if I can walk a red carpet or I can show up at an event, if I can support Sam, if I can support Warchild, I'm supporting the call to action that I feel, and mm -hmm. I'm honoring that in, in all that I do. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much for, for bringing yourselves and your presence and all of your fine words to us today. Thank we appreciate it. Thank you so much it. for and having us. We hope that you enjoy the rest of your tunes. Oh, we will. We're having, having a great yeah. time. Thank awesome. you. Yeah, thank, thank you, you for inviting so me, very much. No. Yeah, yeah, enjoy the rest so of your girls' weekend, right? right? It's yeah. a big girls' weekend. Yeah, it's been good. They were bragging a lot about their girls' weekend on the red carpet. Oh, good. It's very sexy. The weekend's not over yet. You know what I mean? Sam. You do whatever you feel is real <laughs> and have the best time. What happens in Ottawa yeah. stays in Ottawa. That's okay, they, that's sure. What saying. That's actually the famous saying for the Tourism Board of Ottawa, of course. Yeah. I'm going to give that one to Melanie Jolie. We had a great time. <laughs> She's, She's going to let her know. She's here. She was really delightful. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, maybe give her that bottom line. I will. I will. I will. I will. Yeah. The bottom.